Right, so you purchased the product page back and now I'm going to quickly show you how to import this in your project. So this is specially created, of course, for WooCommerce, e-commerce projects, and it will replace any kind of product page. Once you have purchased it, you will get uh, access to the, our member area, to the product page pack. Uh, you need to go to this area here, the product page pack space on the left. And then uh, what you will see is this installation um, a post where you need to click on it and then you will get a few files that you need to uh, import to your project so we're going to use one of our templates um to uh to uh, import uh the cost uh, the custom product page pack so this is snuff and at the moment as you can see we're only having one design for all our products but now what now you have purchased it you can you know make use of one of the six product page templates and play around with it of course you can even do a b testing meaning that you can see really the results which template works the best so that's the huge benefit of the whole pack um so the first step is you need to, of course, install WordPress, Flatsome, and WooCommerce. And once you have done this, maybe you already have this, probably you already have your web shop uh, running. Uh, you can now download this product page pack, WordPress XML file. And uh, now we're going to install this on our current snuff demo, so on our template. It's very easy. You need to go to tools here on the right, clicking on import. And now we're going to import that XML file. I'm running the importer, WordPress. Maybe I went a little bit too fast. Going back here, down below, run the importer of WordPress. Then choose the file. Use that product page pack XML file. Upload the file. And then you can assign it to your own user. Maybe you have a lot of users um, because you maybe already have a lot of customers. So maybe you need to find your username. And you don't need to import the file attachments because there are no file attachments. So it keeps your e-commerce installation, your WordPress installation very clean. Once you have done this, uh, the last step, you, what you need to do, oh no, step three, is you need to add custom CSS because unfortunately we cannot do everything with the Flatsum UX Builder. So we need to add in a little bit of custom CSS as well. So select that copy it and then what you need to do is add custom css to your wordpress project so if you're not familiar with that there are multiple ways you can also uh, make use of a plugin uh, supporting custom css we do that a lot um, but you can also make use of the uh, css insert function of flatsome going to flatsome here and then advanced and then add custom css you can make sure that's very important. Add that to all screens because you want to have this CSS available, not only for desktop, not only for tablet or mobile, but on every screen. Make sure you place it in there. Place it in, save, and now you're ready to make use of the product page back. Also keep in mind that we will maybe updating the custom CSS frequently. Uh, improving it or maybe debugging it as well. Uh, so sometimes we will make an announcement on the member area saying that the CSS is updated. So now we're ready. We can you know, uh, select our product page templates and those can be found at the UX block section. And now you can see product page one, two, three, four, five, six. So you now you have them uh, and, and make, making use of them. You would maybe think by clicking on edit with the UX builder, you can open it up and see how it's working out for you. That's not the way you should do it. First of all, we need to make, make a decision if we want to um, assign a specific product page template to one of our products or globally and set it for all our products in our entire web shop. So um, let's first, I'm going to show you how to assign a product page template to just one of our products, going to products, of course. And let's say this Apple Magic Mouse. Scrolling a little bit down and here at the product layout section, we can uh, select uh, one of the product page templates. So let's first go ahead and working with product page one, update. 
and now when I'm visiting this specific product you can see it's this nice product page template that we also have here this is this is number one so and then of course you can you know test it out see how it works you can add different kind of products templates to each one of one of your products so I'm now going forward with two so it makes it different again as you can see and then there's also a way to set one of your product page templates to be uh, your main layout for all your products so how you can do this is by going to uh, Flatsome, Team Options, WooCommerce, and then going to Product Page. And then you can select here, Custom Product Layout is set to Custom Product Layout for the moment. But now I'm going forward, setting it to be our Product Page 1, Publish. And now it doesn't really matter which kind of product I'm selecting they will be all be using that product page template one, as you can see. So I think that covers it. There's also one that's also a nice thing to show. You can also select product page template based on categories. Can be come in handy if you wanna use different templates for different product categories. So I'm going inside WordPress, going to products, going to categories. So let's say I, for all my gaming products, I wanna use the custom product layout number four. So now I'm not sure it will overrule, but I think it will do. Going to our gaming, gaming category. So now they will all have, yeah, custom product page four. So I think now you know how to do this. It's very easy. I'm going to create different posts for each product page template. So once you have, you know, visit or viewed this video, you can go to the member area, clicking on cost and um, product page pack, and then we'll explain you for each of, of our uh, product page templates, a little bit of how we have done this and maybe give you some little insights to even improve the page template. So. That covers it, good luck. And if you have any questions, leave them here on the member area down below so we can uh, see how we can help you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.